Hello everybody, what is up? It is 512 Bytes here, and today we're going to be doing a really quick tutorial on how to download slash uninstall uh, Google Chrome for Mac OS X. So let's get right into it. Um, as you can see, I already have it installed, but what I thought we might as well start it off with is showing you guys how to uninstall it. So if for any reason you need to uh, uninstall it, this is how you do it. So as you just saw me do, just go into your finder, go into applications, it's a really easy process. Scroll down until you see Google Chrome dot app. I'm pretty sure they all say dot app, but whatever. Uh, so take your Google Chrome and simply drag it into your trash. Google. Oh, okay. All right, my bad. So, as you can see, if we go into our task, wrong button, task manager, Google Chrome is open. It doesn't show us that it's open, but it is running in the background. So we're not going to force quit because that's not very healthy. We go into Google Chrome, and instead of just hitting the red circle or the little X on the tab when you have one open, we're going to go ahead and click Command Q to go ahead and shut it down, and you should see that it automatically leaves the Google Chrome what it says here, what file is open, and it should go back to your Finder. So now that that's closed or it has been completely quit, fully quit, we are going to now drag the Google Chrome app into the trash, and just like that, it is done. And just double check, might as well. Back into your finder, go back into your applications, and that's where it was, and it is no longer there. So that means we were successful with uninstalling Google Chrome. It is very easy on the Mac. Now it still says we have it there, and odds are, whoops, sorry, my little screen recorder thing was in the way, but it does not say on here. All this is here, I'm assuming, yep, you cannot open the application Google Chrome app because it is in the trash. So when you do that, then you know you're good. So now we're going to go install it. So if you're just getting your Mac, most likely you just have uh, Safari. If I can find it. I never use Safari, but whatever. So go into Safari. Let it load. Like I said, I never use it. I always use Chrome. So it might take a second to load. And then we're just going to search for Google Chrome. And let that load. Okay, Google Chrome, it's going to be the first one, I'm assuming. And it should bring you to this page right here, the download page. And it should detect that you're on a Mac. If for some reason this says PC, then you're going to want to go back and you're going to want to make sure that when you do your search for Google Chrome, just add Mac or OS X, something like that on the end, that will tell Google that you are looking for a download for the Mac. So assuming you did that right, go ahead, or assuming you get to this, this page rather, just go ahead and click download Chrome, just quickly read through that and I can't even yep I can't even scroll down not like I read it anyways don't worry <laughs> go ahead and click what did it say download and install and it should install here and let's see is it in our downloads nope we're still after it's all you can right click the Google Chrome icon alright so it didn't install automatically oh wait is it I don't think it is. Oh, there we go. It just took a second. Sorry about that. Like I said, I never use Safari, so it's really slow. Uh, we're just waiting for that to finish down there in our downloads bar. And almost done. It's a generally quick program to download. Assuming you have a decent internet speed. Alright, and click on that. Now this is probably the one part, it's pretty easy process, but 
if there's one part to get screwed up on, it's the part right after this. So I download, and now, when I first got my Mac, I was very confused on this whole process, but it's very easy. Simply, to make sure you have Google Chrome.app selected, and you're going to hold down, if you have, um, if you have, like, the click on your mouse pad, then you're going to want to, like, quote on quote left click or uh, yes left click sorry and simply drag it down into your application see the, like the little circle with the cross in it it's gonna be there until you have it right on top of the application folder and then simply let go it's going to copy into your applications without doing this it's not gonna work so make sure to do that and once it is downloaded, there it is. We'll go ahead and close all our Finder. We can close our Safari. I'm going to quit that because I don't use it. And then it should be right there in our launch pad. So go ahead and click that. And it will, by default, say it's an application from the internet. Are you really sure you want to open it? I would really hope Google doesn't have any uh, viruses in its software. And since the settings are already like saved on my computer, it automatically logs me in to my Google account, which by default will log me into my Yahoo account and any other accounts I have. It's like I guess you could say associated with my Google or Gmail. Well that about does it all. Uh, if you're not already signed in like I am, I believe the first page you get is uh, sign in to your Gmail account. I would strongly recommend doing that. It'll sync all your Google Docs, your Gmail, your YouTube subscription feed, your all of that stuff it will be done automatically by Google. It is a great I guess cloud tool. Well, everybody, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel for new videos every single week. More like two or three a week. I'm not really sure right now. Anyways, thank you all for watching and I will see you all later. Peace out.